If you're in the emergency room, chances are you're in pain. But what is the best thing to take to relieve that pain? Check out this story. When it comes to pain medication, the stronger the better, right? Well, not according to a study that just came out involving 416 ER patients with painful bone fractures, dislocated shoulders, and banged up knees. Half of the group received a combo of ibuprofen and acetaminophen. The others took a drug containing prescription narcotics. The results? Nearly identical. Both groups felt almost exactly the same relief two hours later. So maybe less is more. Even if over-the-counter painkillers are shown to be as effective as opioids, some people don't even have the money or wherewithal to get them. I want you all pleased to welcome the co-founders of B Plus B, Joshua and Tony Breeden, to the show. Awesome. <laughs> because you guys have a really interesting concept with your company. Tell us about that. The company, uh, we started, I guess, back in 2013? 14. 14, yeah, yeah early 14. We're brothers, so you'll see some bantering going on. <laughs> <laughs> some corrections going on. Uh, we started because I had a previous company we sold and decided, and that was fun company, decided this time around I want to have a little bit of, do a little bit of something that was giving back to people. And what we found was because of the healthcare debate that was going on, a lot of people couldn't really afford healthcare, and they were putting a lot of pressure on the free clinics. Yes. And so we thought what we can do is see how can we help these free clinics to be able to better afford uh, the medicine they have. So why don't we start a, a model, a business, that actually gives back. So for every product you buy of ours, we actually provide a product to over about 1,000 free clinics across the country. And we went and talked to AmeriCares, which is an organization up in Connecticut, and they told us it was a great need of theirs uh, to have uh, someone supplying that over-the-counter medicine uh, to their patients. So. Very cool. That is no, very cool. Because it's something you're going to buy anyway. So people always wonder, hey, how can I help somebody? Mm -hmm. And so now it's just an easy way to help folks. It's just like, yeah. And we, okay. we don't always tell people, too, we don't want to be seen as like pill pushers. Yeah. <laughs> we're like, okay, <laughs> we're we don't want to go on this program like people say, oh, there's a pill pusher. Well, and so we always tell people, we, we always say, laugh, love and laughter is the best medicine. So it really is. Yeah. It really is. Okay. And you know, so, yeah. <laughs> work at a lot of the clinics that are the like a lot of clinics similar to the ones you're helping out so mm -hmm. I want to say thank you because I really have I've had people come in in tears and they're like you know Dr. Ne like I can't I can't do it like I can't afford it and I know it's hard for some mm -hmm. people to understand how individuals wouldn't be able to afford over-the-counter medication mm -hmm. but it is a real thing and to know that you are relieving pain in a manner similar to the pain relief someone can experience it with opioid mm -hmm. pain relief in some instances is phenomenal so mm -hmm. thank you thank you thank you thank you I think it also highlights I think it's pretty remarkable during this opiate crisis in the country that you can do a study in the ER and two hours after receiving an over-the-counter medication versus an opiate, mm -hmm. same pain relief. It's pretty profound. Let's think about that for a moment. And I, and I think sometimes less is more when it comes so, to medicine. No, yeah. and, and certainly, uh, I know that's something that you guys believe in. So you're, you're brothers, so what is it like working together? So you're always hanging out. It's, it's terrible. No, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 no, I'm just kidding. We're, we're, it's actually really fun because the thing is you speak openly with each other a lot more it's than what you do. good and bad thing. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes, Sometimes you speak too, too openly. But I'm curious because you're the big brother. Yeah. So where, where does the family stop and business begin and vice versa? I do you ever just have I, to say, I, I totally I'm why. your big bro? Yeah. He, he does. He goes, hey. I'm the big brother here. Now, does it's that my work? Decision. It's my decision. Yeah, does that said. work? I, say I that have now. older siblings. No, no. Does that work? It doesn't work. Okay, no. stay strong. That's Never it. Works. Stay strong. Never works. Right. That's it. Sometimes <laughs> I have to call mom and dad sometimes and say, hey, dad, get, get on him. <laughs> I do that too. It's quite effective, it's though, really right? Hey, it works every it time. Works. It, it's also very cute, too, with the company because our whole family kind of supports it. And they're just yeah. always, you know, they, they live in Tennessee and they're telling all their friends about it. They're so proud of it. It's, it's just very interesting to see a whole family involvement. The first time the company we started before, uh, it wasn't a fan, you know, we, it was me and a friend of mine from law school. And so we started that one, but it wasn't the same. Why don't you tell me what it is? Huh? Well, we started a moonshine company before. It was called Old. <laughs> 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 I mean, What's they funny keep is getting they, better they, and better. They like, want like, to like, better like, better like, And yeah. I'm actually <laughs> genuinely a little bummed out you didn't bring me a sample. I know. Yeah. I was telling you. I was telling them backstage, I said, if I brought moonshine, then there won't be any conversation about B plus B. And the one thing I will say, and it sounds like you guys are, are up this alley as well, you know, when it comes to medicine, 
always the lowest possible effective dose for what you're treating. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a, an imp important concept. You mentioned in a culture where we, we often hand out pills like candy. Mm -hmm. You guys sell all the, the three major types of naproxen, acetaminophen, ibuprofen. ibuprofen. ibuprofen yeah. Where can people go to learn more? Uh, yeah. Go to our website, it's betterbygiving.com. And sure. we sell in Walmarts nationwide. We just uh, reached a deal with Publix nationwide. And uh, we'll be yeah, on Amazon up. and other stores we're working on too right now. So more, more importantly, yeah. um, my gift package of moonshine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a 360 solution. So if you do too much of that one, you can do it here. And and I want to stress the fact that it's 30 to 50 cents cheaper than most well-known well, we brands, right? To. We do try to. You know, the stores make that final decision, uh -huh. and then we need your help out here to buy it because we can't do our mission if you're not buying it because that's the only way it works. We gave away about almost 500,000 doses so far. Uh, it's over a thousand points. So. Well, gentlemen, yeah. true pleasure. And you can go to our website to find out more about Joshua and Tony's company.